Okay, folks, so I've run into a couple of interesting dead ends and in some research that I'm trying to do around here in southern Nevada for Clark County. And uh, more specifically, uh, research into who it was that introduced the whole idea of removing the green spaces and who adopted the whole xeriscape idea because it's not anything new. The whole xeriscape thing began in like Colorado, I believe Denver even, back in the 80s. And it's just been slowly kind of destroying, uh, you know, areas of different states. You know, any any of the states that have actually adopted that type of a, of a thing, where they're going through and removing all of their green spaces, and they're doing this serialscaping thing, and they're planting these drought-resistant plants and all of that kind of stuff. Every region has dried out completely. It's like the number one formula for engineering drought, right? So I'm trying to find out who it was here in Nevada that actually, you know, adopted that, introduced it, and it became some kind of a policy and a regulation where the, the city and the county are going through and telling people that by a certain date you have to remove all your green spaces. And then they're, they're removing green spaces from public spaces and they're, they're planting in these, what they're called drought resistant plants. And I really would like to find the information on that, on who introduced it, but I keep running into these little dead ends, you know? I'll come across the name of someone and then I'll go to find more information about, about that person and the link has either gone 404 or um, any of the information that's available for any of the conservationists or any of the people involved with, um, influencing the so-called policy makers and rule makers into making these decisions um if there's no updated information the latest information is from like 2020 from like three years ago you know so it just it just kind of seems like ever since they issued that water emergency there's there's, there was like this group of people that came in and put forth all of this information and had all this influence on the policymakers, and that group of people is now gone. And that bothers me, okay? Because I really would like to get some information to some people that are in charge and let them know. You know, planting the drought resistant plants and removing all the green spaces, you're just facilitating drought. You're, all you're doing is assisting in engineering drought. We're going to end up drier than hotter than ever before. And most likely on fire. And then followed by massive flash floodings, sinkholes, mudslides, you know, the whole shot that California has been going through for decades. If we can't look at California's history with weather and what happens when they influence it and interfere with it and learn something, and the people here can't get their freaking heads on straight and actually do some independent research into stuff. We're really headed for some shit days here in Henderson, in Southern Nevada. But I just, I find it so curious that all of the people that directly influence the policymakers to make these decisions on doing and taking these measures to combat the water emergency after it was declared are MIA. I find that very curious.